Alright, so uh, I'm Scott from ZigTag and this is Bruce from ZigTag. So, uh, how many of you guys out here are delicious users? Alright, so good luck. So, how many people out here uh, just use their bookmarks and their favorites in the, in the menu in your browser? Come on, there's more of you than that. Come on. There you go, alright. So, uh, of those people that are using bookmarks and favorites in that menu, how many have an absolute mess in that menu? There you go. We all do. should be pretty much all of you. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we're from ZigTag, and, and we're here to, uh, to solve that solution for you. So <clears throat> uh, there's three things we want you to rec remember for about ZigTag tonight. First thing is ZigTag is the best way to uh, organize and save pages you find on the internet. Second thing is uh, ZigTag is very social and very viral. The more friends you have in ZigTag, the more uh, pages you're going to find, and the more value you're going to get out of that. And the third thing is that ZigTag is the future of search. Now, it's a pretty bold statement, but we're going to try to prove that by the end of the presentation. <clears throat> so, uh, say we came across this website here, uh, Fister Automotive. It's uh, kind of a cool card of uh, um, California. So, say I wanted to save this page. Uh, a couple weeks later, I'll try to find it. What, what am I going to save it with? I'm going to try to save it with um, words or phrases that mean something to me. And notice the keyword mean. It's all about meaning. So I'm going to tag it with uh, cars, for example. So you notice we, we uh, uh, there's a type ahead there, uh, and then in the sidebar there, and there's three definitions of cars. So there's cars, the film, cars, the automotive, and uh, cars, the band, as in the cars, right? So obviously we're going to choose cars, the automotive. So we're also going to tag this with, with maybe uh, luxury, and we're going to choose a uh, luxury vehicle. We're also going to try a hybrid, as in a uh, hybrid vehicle. Um, and maybe supercar. It's a bit of a supercar. It goes 0 to 60 in like 4.2 seconds. And uh, maybe, I don't know, Fisker Automotive. Or Fisker. That's cool. So, a is a pretty unknown name, but we still have the definition in the system. So we've got about two million definitions in the system, and it's, it's getting bigger all the time. So now we'll go to a second page, the, uh, a YouTube video from The car, uh, the car is the Band. So, uh, yeah, so you can play it. <laughs> um, so we'll tag this with Cars, again. This time we're going to choose the Cars as in the Band. And we'll also tag it with a video. And maybe uh, Rick Ocasek. And then we'll head to a uh, third page. So uh, a really excellent restaurant in, in New York City called uh, Kraft. So I don't know if, what I want to tag this with. Maybe New York City. And maybe restaurant. Alright, so now we got a few pages tagged uh, in the system, and it's, you know, two, three weeks later, you're sitting at the bar, or like now, it's like, oh man, um, you're going to New York, I've got this great restaurant that I'd love you to try. Uh, I, I can't remember where it is, let me just, you know, look it up. If you have an iPhone, you can look it up. <laughs> at the bar. So, I can't remember if I tagged it with New York, or New York City, or NY, or NYC, so, uh, or maybe even Big Apple, so maybe let's just type in Big Apple. So lo and behold, we got it. And uh, maybe click on restaurant. Oh, there you go. So there we go. So we've got the page of, uh, or all the pages tagged with New York City and restaurant. We come back here. Notice that we searched for it with Big Apple, but we actually tagged it with New York. So what we demonstrated is the semantic equivalence of Big Apple and New York. New York City. Similarly, we could have searched for it by NY, NYC, New York, New York City, The Big Apple, Big Apple, whatever, whatever you want to do. So we'll go back to Explore Tags, and we'll try to remember that car company. So we'll type in, uh, I can't remember if I tagged it with, with cars or, or maybe automobile. Let's see what we can find with automobile. Uh, 
and we can uh, whittle down our results by maybe Supercar or something, or Fisker. Hybrid's good too. And lo and behold, we have the result. So again, we've tagged the, tagged the page with the word cars, but we're searching for it by automobile. Again, semantic equivalence. Okay, so we'll go back to Explore Tags one final time. <clears throat> and this time we're going we're gonna to type in the cars instead of cars. And again, we're going to bring all the results up with all, all the music videos you have tagged. And the cool thing is you can actually uh, play them in line in the, uh, uh, inside the Explore Tags window. It's really cool. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, you screwed up the demo here. So what we've shown here is that um, it's all about semantic tagging, so tagging with a meaning. So you're tagging um, uh, words that actually mean something, so we have different meanings for the same word, but we also have um, uh, different, def or different definitions that all can be referred to by different ways. So this is incredibly uh, powerful. Okay, so the second thing I want you guys to remember tonight is that uh, ZTag is social, very social. So uh, I'm going to head to my homepage here. So this homepage is basically, um, it's kind of like your Facebook homepage, it's your, it's your profile page. On here we're going to show you a news feed, and that's going to show you everything that's going on in the ZigTag universe. So, um, uh, what your friends are tagged, uh, what's your, what groups you're going to, uh, what's going on in your groups, if somebody's adding something to your groups. And this is very powerful because this is extending your reach into the internet. You're, find, you're finding cool pages that um, you, people you're friends with have tagged, and you probably wouldn't have found otherwise. So, hey, Patrick Lurs company, what do you know? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I love that guy. I love that guy too. <laughs> so, um, this is really cool. It's kind of like Dig, but it's pre qualifying the websites that you're finding. Um, and it's, it's much more powerful than Dig or, or StumbleUpon or something like that because it's coming from your friends and your friends are pre qualifying stuff um, because theoretically your interests should be pretty similar. So there's another way to, to extend your reach on the internet as well, and that's by uh, going to groups. So we'll head to groups here. <clears throat> and we'll head to the guitar players group. So all of us in the office are trying to be the next Jimi Hendrix, so we kind of made this, this group of, of all really cool guitar videos and stuff. So again, um, we all have similar interests, and uh, we've compiled a, a great list of guitar tabs and guitar videos and, and links to, to new guitar companies and whatever it is. So, um, great place to find really cool stuff on the internet. So this is really, really important, as I said, because it's extending your reach into the internet, and you're actually getting your social network to do work for you, to, find, to search through the internet, crawl it, and find interesting stuff for you. So it's much more powerful than, than Digger's Dummy Pond. So the third thing that I want you guys to remember is that ZigTag is going to be the future of search at some point. So let me just ask a question.